Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we'd like to welcome you back to the 18th annual Derby City Classic. This is nine days of action. We're into day number five. This is the finals of the bank pool event. We started with approximately 475 of the world's greatest bank pool players. We're down to the final two. Format is race to three games, single elimination. Each player has one opportunity to rebuy. At this point in time, uh, Mr. Brumbeck, one of the finalists, has one rebuy left, so this could conceivably go two matches instead of one. Uh, if he used to win the first match, and it'll be over with. At this point in time, we'd like to uh, get the match underway. Our first gentleman is from Glasgow, Scotland. Three times he's won the Turning Stone event, and uh, he's sponsored on tour by Miyuchi Q's, Czechio, Hustlin' USA, Kings of Vapor, and he won the Bigfoot Invitational uh, earlier this week right here in Louisville, 16,000 first place, still in business in the banks. Please welcome straight shooter from Glasgow, Scotland, Mr. Jason Shaw. Let's hear it for him, Jason Shaw. Thank you. And his opponent is a household name in the world of bank pool. He's sponsored on tour by Lomax Cues, new to you cues.com, Simona's Cloth, and Hustlin' USA. Two times he has won the U.S. Open Bank Pool Championship, and he's won the banks here in Derby City twice, and he's a former world all-around champion. Please welcome from Owenton, Kentucky, your own John Brumback. Thank you. And gentlemen, you may have asked for the first break. We're going to send it to the booth. Mark Wilson, take it away, you guys. Come on, make some noise for these guys. Welcome, pool fans. This is the finals of the 18th Annual Derby City Classic Bank Pool Championship. Mark Wilson and Billy Gibbs on the call. And Billy, anything we should look for in this one? Well, I'll tell you what, Mark. First thing I want to say is I'm honored to be here. Witnessing, you know, this confrontation tonight between Jason Shaw and John Brumbeck, I've got to say, you know, you're lucky to be here. Contest of beauty. I mean, both games are beautiful in their own way. And Jason Shaw has a knockout punch. It's one, two, three, four, five. And it's going to be exciting to see how this goes because Brumbeck is so consistent and so tenacious. He's going to fight with everything he's got. He's a defending champion. You know, you got to see him as a favorite in those lights. Um, how do you see it? Well, for me, you know, Jason Shaw has got the supreme firepower, uh, outstanding shot maker, and he's on a pretty big current psychological high from winning the uh, the ten ball event on the Bigfoot, where he just overpowered the table with shot making. Oh yeah, he's an emotional guy, and I think that high is really going to help him to eliminate any negativity from adversity. You know, because sometimes on the emotional side it goes both ways. Sometimes he is a little down he can get frustrated when things don't go his way he's not necessarily a grinder he's more of a uh, fast break offense type guy five and out and for me i think brumbeck has a big edge on the end game tactics taking fouls moving like that so for john to win and he will have to be beaten twice i believe that john needs to be very very consistent on the routine banks and not allow jason any extra turns John's a proud guy, and uh, I think that's kind of my summary of it. If it's fast break offense, Jason has a great chance. If it's a tactical game, I like Johnny B. Well, we can see right away it's going to be fast break offense. And uh, the second thing is I totally agree with that summation. That's a great analysis of what I see down there tonight. Let's see what the master comes up with here. Yeah, this is John's game, and he's very proud of that. I think we need to spot a ball here, don't we? From the break. Scott's taking care of that. Cross corner on the four, and you'll notice a tremendous pre-shot routine with John Brumback. That greatly aids consistency 
And when the average player faces bank shots because they're a little bit iffy about where to aim them, they support that with a little bit of an iffy setup. And it just doesn't play well long term where you never see Brumbeck take a, a halfway approach to any shot. <laughs> Ready shot to open the match for Brumbeck. Cross corner nine ball now. You know, Brumbeck's a fighter too. You know, he grew up hard and, uh, you know, he used to come up Cincinnati and play Gary Spade. He'd collect money from uh, people around him and uh, he'd come up there and donate a little bit. And Gary had the utmost respect for John. He ball got away here. He's going to scratch. Well, that's tough roll. Of, yeah, no, it's not a tough roll. No, that was totally out of his. That was his control there. Well, it glanced the one, too. You know what I'm saying? The one was sitting in front of the pocket. It goes a little longer. It goes into the face of the one that's still fine. It actually looks like a two-way shot. Well, that hurt. So Brumbeck's back to zero now, despite making a ball. Well, it's tough to win when you give up a ball playing short rack bank. Real tough to win. Look at Jason Shaw. He's playing wide open here. Three-railer. That's a real English-looking bank. The English like three-railers like that. What a shot that he was. Too, yeah. Gorgeous. Appreciative audience recognize that. Even Brumback claps. Nice to see. Don't you think that's kind of a snooker shot? Yeah, you know, perhaps. The speed and everything. That way, yeah. Yeah, the English hit the ball like that. I think it was mainly safe, is what he was anticipating. Oh, it was a well-hit ball. Yeah, he plays safe on two and three railers, by the way. But the one thing I noticed right away, Jason Shaw really knows how to control this cue ball. He's played well. He's played well, and he's looked at where he wants that ball when he's done. That That's beautiful. What do you do here? Yeah, Brumbeck's back's against the wall here because it's kind of a tricky layout to play safe from. He may be banking and spike that uh, three or eight ball straight back. Oh, he's no, he's playing safe. He wouldn't go 45 degrees to make the bank, so. Coming off the nine, yeah. Well, Jason gets to do it now. And look how good he did with the cue ball. Mm -hmm. There's no, no way to draw. Yeah, it's he parked on the it. rubber. Just playing cross corner, but primarily for defense. Good speed. Look at that speed. Well designed and executed shot, too. Look at him. Now that's close for where he was coming from. Absolutely. That's good mechanics, isn't it? Seriously. Yeah, he's hitting the ball as pure as anyone I've ever seen. Well, you mentioned earlier to me when you came in the booth, you said to me that, you know, have you ever seen anybody hit the ball purer and truer than how Jason's hitting the ball? And, uh, you know, boy, that's just so true. Straight you back don't see it. ball. Hit it well. <laughs> uh, the old Brumbeck banking machine, he's back on the scoreboard here. It's like a punch, that shot, you know. It just goes in. It's like landing a punch. Missed that pretty good, though, didn't he? Yeah, well, short, but it was not a hanger or anything. He left a cross corner, the eight's cross corner. Might have also left a straight back on the nine if he wanted it. Yeah, but, I mean, where are you going to play it? You know, straight back, you got balls. Oh, Shaw drained it. Now he's got a routine cross side. That's exactly what he'll play, too. Man, this kid's dangerous. You're so right. And he's riding the high of winning the 10 ball. He's got all that going on. Johnny B's got to put this away somehow. Not much there. He had to bank the nine ball one rail straight back to his right would be the most routine bank available. I, I buy that. That's fine. That's exactly what he's playing, too. That's what he called, right? Yeah. 
Where do you want the cue ball, Mark? Just out in the center of the table, I guess. Cause, uh, so you're going to draw the shot then? Just a little bit. I'm just coming to the center of the table. I don't know. I, I will defer to where Johnny puts it, though. I think that makes the shot play the easiest. We well, put it in the pocket first off. <laughs> wow. he what was a going beautiful all the way shot. Back. He was going all the way back, so he, he didn't just uh, let everything hang out there shot-wise. Well, he's calling straight back on the two ball. Boy, this is going to take something. My God, look at this. Overdid it. Oh, I hate to root, hit. but that was a beautiful hit. Yeah, tremendous shot. 3 2 is the score. Shaw's playing this three rails in the side. I'll bet this comes real close. Three rails, side pocket. This is a real snookery bank. Hit it pretty nice. He's a little wide. You know, the uh, cross side that Jason missed, that was really kind of a, a big shot to put yourself on the hill and put John in with all the pressure. But he missed it. Jason Shaw had missed it when he was trying to play a little bit of position, to sh a shot that wasn't all that. So yeah. I think he should have really emphasized making the fourth bank as opposed to trying to win the game. You know, this is a crazy thing to say. But when you were growing up and you played with really good players, didn't you sometimes, you know, when you were playing them, kind of just want to show them you listened and you paid attention to what you learned, like that shot right there? Way to go, John Brumbeck. And I think that, you know, when Jason Shaw's playing Johnny, he's got to feel that. I mean, no disrespect to anyone. I mean, that only is a compliment. I'm sure he's, you know, in kind of awe of how great Brumbeck's selection is, for one thing. Kid's dangerous, though. Well, always when you're when when you're aware, and naturally Jason Shaw doesn't play a lot of bank pull, so he knows when it comes down to the tactical side of the game, he's not going to be as efficient as John Brumbeck. So you want to get out there and put the game away, and he was trying to play the cross side with position. Yeah. But the position didn't really, it wasn't a cinch, so I think he should have cinched the fourth ball and settled for whatever he had just to make sure they only need one more bank. He needs two from here. And the one and three are tied up. And he left Brumbeck a ball. Right. Brumbeck will play the seven ball straight back. That's tactical bank right there, what you're calling though, you know? Absolutely just being tactical and correct, I think. This will be close. It's a nice little speed, short. Nice speed. Perfect. Hit the wow. in the pocket. Yeah, Brumbeck cinched getting on the uh, hill here. Now, man, oh, man. Yeah, he's going to play the one ball. He's going to leave that three ball right there because that way it uh, makes it very hard for Jason Shaw to beat him in one inning. Absolutely. Now, he might have called. I didn't hear what he called, so I don't know what. That's yeah, just pure Gotta safety. Got to play safe. Got to roll up on it so it looks like he's doing. Oh, boy. Pretty nice shot. Shaw will go back to the other end of the table probably, right? He might play the one straight back. No. Nope. Wasn't there. He only got halfway down the table, too. John's got something to work with here a little bit. Let's see what he calls. To me, this is where Brumbeck's got art. Okay, he's playing it cross corner. It means he's going to load it up with right hand English, and any kind of a slight miss hit can lead to a scratch, two cushions. You know that, right? He'll want to roll across the face of it. And he hit it good, but he came out long. He may go in the pocket. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. No, that was not the answer there. Now you got Jason Shaw shooting the spot shot bank, which. It's super hard for us mortals, but uh, John Brumbeck makes it with regularity, and Jason Shaw's pure cumanship will uh, no. put him in the vicinity. He gave him the game. I mean, you're saying it in an eloquent way, but, I mean, he gave him the game. I mean, that was unnecessary. You called that before it happened. 
Oh boy. Yeah, Jason figures to hit this good because he's he's gonna win. Hand down and, and Johnny deserves what he's getting here. <laughs> Buddy, you just got a breath of life. <laughs> now the shoe's on the other foot. John's got to get the three ball back in play. But the one's such a good bank, I think he's just going to have to wait. He's going to shoot now. Look at the rock mark. It's laying on the rubber. That's that's a beautiful leave. I, I don't care. Hit that pretty good. Brimbach likes well, it. He did it. He's off and walking with a quick pace. Wow. Where does he put the cue ball here? On the rubber. Very nice. Settles in. That makes the shot ever so tough. Jason Shaw, he's winding up like a baseball pitcher. He's happy to have any shot. He didn't care. I'll just pure this one right in. This is some beautiful pool. Steal this first game. Yeah, this will be a real pretty shot if he makes it. Oh, he's jacking up. Oh, boy. Yeah. He missed the double kiss. And he landed the cue ball in the drink. Uh-oh. Well, was he playing that straight back, or was he playing it? I don't know. I'm not even sure. Cause he was playing it off the rubbers, the good news. <laughs> yeah, that was... Rumbeck's got ball in hand. You got to like his odds here. I mean, two, make the one, and the three cross side. I mean, it's that simple. You got ball in hand. Well, he doesn't need to. He needs one. One straight back. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I guess John's just going to draw back. No, he's going forward. That hurt too bad. Better stop right now. Good job with getting the cue ball on the rail. <laughs> I, I think of the stupidest things. When you said that, it's like it's like to me, it almost sounds like locking the barn door behind the horse running away. I mean, that's a big mistake, don't you think? In what way? Jason's going to kill him. Oh, I don't think that at all. Well, there's a cross side. Oh, but I'm just saying, well, I mean, he has chance. Here comes the cross he corner. Just look, the look, at this. look at this cross corner. Oh, that laid up beautiful. That's what I meant. Perfect. Dead. Yeah, Jason Shaw is a shooter. Well, Brumbeck gave it to him, so. I mean, I'm not trying to pick sides, but I love watching Johnny shoot. And Jason took it to him. Yeah, John scratched off the one ball down here that was avoidable, and then he scratched two cushions. Yeah, the, here that you late. called ahead of time. Well, I mean, it was just the way it scratches, I guess, but. Yeah, he probably should have tried something less aggressive and cinched the cue ball and made uh, Eagle Eye play from where he leaves the cue ball. Well, Jason Shaw would have to beat John Brembeck twice to win this tournament. Brembeck needs to win one of two sets. He trails in the first set one to nothing. A lot of our viewers have questioned as to when the bank ring game is. That will be Friday at 9 p.m. Is Shaw on the ring game? Do you know? I don't think anybody expected this out of him, right? Yeah, I don't know. But cross side eight ball here. Rubbed in one, wouldn't have counted. Brumbeck bolts out of his chair. What do you like here in the nine ball cross corner? Oh, it's hard to tell. <laughs> Whatever John's calling the one. It means it goes by the nine. John likes it, I do too. 
No. Oh, not a scratch. You don't like <laughs> it so much now. <laughs> no, the double kiss scratch. Man, oh man. This is, uh, what is that, his third foul? Of the... it's yeah, it's three foul. Third foul in two games, so. He normally plays entire matches without a foul. Okay, Eagle Eyes looking to lock in on something here. Straight back seven ball, he calls. You know who you play when they fire at you. I don't care who you are, your knees get rubbery. And uh, there's a time period that you have to go through that. Don't mean Brumbeck can't win. That's for sure. Guys put many to sleep. And Jason Shaw is not perfect. There are things that I see that are kind of flippish with him. I mean, he'll get better as time goes on. But he's he's a great English-style banker, can I say. Yeah, he's not kind of like a Kentucky banker like Johnny is. That particular shot, you had to influence the object ball. And uh, that's not going to be Shaw's forte. He needs straight shooting regular type banks rather than banks that you have to turn with a little bit of side spin or by creating an angle and then judging the speed to minimize the contact induced side spin. Like that right there. And Brumbeck will flourish on those type things. The pure execution, Jason Sherrill can definitely hang with him on just a wide open table straight shot. Here comes another one. It's like a punch. When it hits the rail and comes off and goes in, there's a certain thud to it, and the it's care, a beautiful thing. The care with the pre-shot routine aids consistency on these more routine-type banks, and there's four banks right in front of him. He's Isn't that beautiful, that sound? Oh, yeah. I remember the first thing I heard was when I was in Cincinnati, hey, man, you want to play some bumps? And it just sounded cool. That's what it sounds like. Here it is again. <laughs> Nice shot there. <clears throat> now here's a case for it. Oh, straight back, he says. Two ball, he likes that the best. He could bank the nine, but the two is a little bit better shot. He'll shoot the two. I like that call. I mean, two's really good. Look at what you got next. If you draw back a little bit even, you got a shot with a nine across side. He'll hold this with speed. It came up short. Four across side. This ought to be really, really fascinating. Does Jason Shaw pound on him from here? What do you shoot first? Well, he's clearly high enough to four ball. ball. Yeah. So you got to go into the six a little bit, right? Yeah. Look nice at this. speed. Opens up. Hits the middle of the pocket. Beautiful. Well, I kind of like the four ball from here. He might like the seven, or the five ball, I meant. Ball. He's going to play the straight back. Yeah, seven's a shot. He's a little short. For Mr. Shaw. Bumbeck's got shot here. A couple of them. Seven cross corner goes. It's an odd shot, but it goes. Playing the eight ball cross corner. This is a real good shot. You want to hit this with low, a little bit of right, pull it down to the end rail, and have enough speed to get this just to the pocket. He'll hit it harder than that, of course. More like a punch. Nicely done, but he hit the six. Left the nine straight back to you, didn't he? I don't know. Looks like the two ball goes cross side. Yep. And that's what he's going to shoot. A little short? Yep. Boy, there's no, there's nothing reckless about how they're playing right now. So determined. 
Good tight lies. What they're leaving are not easy to deal with shots at all. John called the nine ball cross corner. This ought to be pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God. Very nice. Seven ball cross side. Seven you know, cross you, side, right? Yeah, you're talking about nearly 40 years of bank pool experience from John Brumbach, so he knows the shots and the moves. He knows them all. Donnie Anderson, same thing. That's what this guy's got, man. He's got it all. He played them all. This is the game ball here in front of him, the eight ball cross side. Rumbeck's the real deal. Way Hit that wide. a little bit long. Yeah, too wide. Boy, Shaw's on the rubber again, dude. Look at that. Isn't that something? Jason Shaw needs all four balls remaining. It amazing that ball in the last game and then a really serious mistake this game's not going to go that way it doesn't look like this is a much much stronger game for John Brumbeck anyway Shaw make this and come out nope and looks like that five cross corner looks pretty I like that inviting I like that I don't think he'll pound it. You no, can pound it, but you don't need to. No, he wants to make use of the end rail. He can make this into a big pocket here. He wants to be mindful of uh, where the cue ball goes. Not Beautiful. Too soft, too soft. No. It'll go. <laughs> he trained it. Gorgeous shot. John Brombeck ties up the match at one game apiece. This is a race to three, of course. Much better game for John Brumbeck there. That's beautiful, isn't it? That was a great, great shot. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. When you watch a bank player, it's got the full range of motion. It's a beautiful thing to see. When they've got speed down like that, you know, the feel of going across the ball and just cutting a little bit to give a little bit of turn on the ball. And letting that work into the pocket, it's a beautiful thing to see. Yeah, one of the, the tremendous things with bank ball is that you got the contact-induced side spin on the object ball just by cutting the object ball from the cue ball weight. Oh, yeah. And these guys have mastered that, so you have to um, adjust your aim accordingly based on the speed and how thick you're hitting the object ball. Come on, man, you play. That's art. You know what I mean? That's what you love about Efren. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Art. Run back here, breaking game three. And he's renowned for always having a real good nine ball break. He's a much better nine ball player than people think. There's an example of what I'm talking about. Cue ball just parks up there. Made the one. What about the link to his bridge, man, before he breaks? What do you, what do you make of that? Terrific. You want power, you got to have some length. And... Uh, you think that's what it adds power, being back a little further like that? Well, it gives you the capacity to make a longer swing. You know, power comes from tip speed, which comes from, you know, length. It's a good analysis. I like that. Cross corner six ball. It's a pretty shot. Whap. Hits the heart of the pocket. It's like a punch, isn't it? I mean, boom. Well, this is going to take something. Three ball. Mm -mm. I love to watch this guy work.
Look at this. Mm. Very <laughs> pretty shot. Oh, my goodness. It don't get any better than that, does it? Mm -mm. No, nope. straight back seven. This will allow him to bring the cue ball backwards, too. So it's got some defensive implications along with it. That makes it a little freer to go after balls like this. This is all about speed. I think he'll play this hard enough it goes up and down the table twice so that in case he misses it, he doesn't leave it right How about there. about if it just goes in the pocket? That would be the other part of it. He didn't want to leave a very routine cross side. Look at the rock on top of the four. How's that? I mean, it could be better, but it still is better than what it could be. Pockets closed off to his right. And John gathers we up look at the table. Two balls. Jason Shaw thinking about putting the seven in the pocket and just putting the, another ball in play. Well, this is tough. Just bun it, yeah. Let Brumbeck figure out what to do. He'll probably pocket the eight ball. Didn't pocket it. That's probably even smarter. Um, yeah, that's not the kind of game Jason wants to get into as a tactical game. He wants to get into a shootout. Brumbuck moving the eight ball close to the corner. Well, this has got to be where years and years comes to light. Yeah, it. he helped himself uh, immeasurably by doing that. Yeah, look at what Shaw's going to do. Give it right back to him. This might go on for a while. see any harm in just giving them the six ball even though the pocket's tied up just roll in leave the cue ball hooked on the facing and let him go from there and again he didn't pocket the ball I mean the guy's got to move ahead of me for sure <laughs> oh my goodness That was well done. Put Everything. Ball in play, move the other one in down table. And, and it's not easy for John to pocket the seven ball and keep the mm -hmm. cue ball down there. He won't be able to keep it on the end rail for sure. You don't think he can go rail first and just go back into it like that? No, I think he can. I just don't think the cue ball will pocket the seven and put it back on the end rail. Oh, no, I was wrong. That was a heady shot. Well, he put a lot of pressure on Jason Shaw now. It's a long shot to a tough bank and the potential to lose the game from here, but not likely to win the game from here. Well, this ought to be nice. He's just playing it safe. Take you all way back you down know, earlier table. you mentioned that um, you Jason didn't like this style of game. That's got to be kind of the aspect of Rumbeck's experience that he gives them exact, exactly that to eat. You know what I mean? He's handed them exactly what he doesn't want. And uh, he's got the ability to do that. That's a great fighting tactic, I think. Yeah, the Brumbuck is going to beat you to the first shot quite often here in these tactical exchanges. How about this? Did he get any speed? Is speed something that's suspect to me a little bit? Sometimes, but not in the finals. Look at this, man. Not bad. Once again, what he has on offer here is you could bank at the five. And this, to be accurate, you need to be level Q, but then that means the cue ball stays in play and you can lose the game with this shot. So you, now when you elevate like this, now that makes the bank substantially more difficult so you can control the cue ball. But he's going to punch this ball and that's why he's elevating. He wants to hit that thing flat and just try to use the angle to make the ball. Good shot. Real good. Drained in from way down table. How about the eight ball next? Well, he's, How's that look to he you? He likes it. Shaw, very much a rhythm player. He doesn't waste a lot of time. But he missed that by quite a bit. Yeah, full diamond.
After making such a beautiful pass on that first one, the, the watch the how quick the one ball goes away. It'll take him just a second. <laughs> Match is tied at one. The, this particular game, Brumbeck leads two balls to one. So he needs three. Three's tough. Got to finish back cutting the two, maybe. I don't know. Got to make this. How much do you bet on this? Because do you stay down here for this? I mean... I'd just go up table and go to the end rail, maybe. Brumbeck uses his extension here. 40-second shot clock in effect. You bet it all. I don't think you can bet it all playing Shaw. I don't think he gets that luxury. He can't bet it all. He's got to play tight. He went all the way for that one. Yeah, we'll see if Shaw can punish him. Off angle cross side. Is that punishment? So far, straight back to. Well, you're for sure going to get to do this again. Because I think uh, Shaw might get the best of this. Hmm. He's playing the one, three rails. <laughs> We've seen him try one, three rail in this match. It absolutely cut to the pocket right in the heart. One ball, three rail. You have to expect this is primarily a defensive shot. It'll still be beautiful. It'll be long, well long. Yeah, full diamond. Wow. Two balls apiece. This is going to get tactical quick. Like right now. And John going to tempt him with a, look at that nice shot. Look at the cue ball. It just settles into the end rail. He had to go rail first to produce that. Isn't that gorgeous? It really is. Yeah, that's a lot of experience there. Jason did not hit this well last time he was here. He's not even going to try for it now. He's just going to play safe. Grumbeck's got to play safe here. I can't see anything. And he calls that straight back. Eight ball straight back. He's going across the face of that with a nine ball in the pocket. This ought to be, a, you know, several things. How do you keep from losing the cue ball here? He might be playing the two. Gives you more chance. I think it takes away having the eight nope, ball. He was playing the eight. Well, he butchered that one. Boy, did he. And look at this. Look at what he left. I'm to Shaw. Saying, yeah, I'm not saying it was easy. but Four ball. Again, he deserves to get smacked. God, he hit that bed. Can't believe that. No, it was a hard shot. He was trying to do a lot there, and it was easy to... Shaw got kiss. him once. Here comes the next one. Cross side. One ball cross cross side. side. No, he's going to play cross corner, isn't he? No, cross side. Yeah, cross side's right. Two. Don't scratch. Nope. Just stay out. Hit the nine. Shaw playing for one. Shaw's playing for one. Doing the side. Safe. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. There's going to be a ball come up on the spot when he's done. We can go up table with this a little bit. Just like that. Beautiful speed. Perfect speed. Yeah. Long two cushions. Drops down onto the center of the end rail. Listen, this kid's a master. I mean, there's no two ways about it. I've seen amazing play from him all week long. You brought the 10 ball up when we were just talking. But he played so good in the Bigfoot, it was just unreal. He, he played the finals like he was on a bar box. I mean, 
position was Will. Straight back A ball. Good effort there. Yeah, well, ain't going to like the result. And this is tough. Might take, might take the next match for him to wake up. He's playing good. Can't believe I say that when a guy's not winning, but he is. Double kiss. That was an oops. The John Brumbeck will take it because this shot can win for him. He can play the two ball cross corner and bring the cue ball right down by the eight and nine. Yeah, I'm totally into that. That's the right shot. Beautiful. Yeah, it was. was that gorgeous? Look at that. Man, that's art. He just uh, beat the double kiss, and he was aware of it. He, he knew he, he would. Nine ball it. now. Cross side. And if he gets out from here. There it is. What a shot. What Gotta a stay shot out of the pocket. Don't dare go long. At 4 4. Here we go, straight back. Big shot here. Big shot here. Yeah. You're exactly right. Championship shot. Get a good look down the barrel. Just a little bit short. Boy, that really backed up onto the point. Yeah, now Jason yeah, Shaw left. Very. Well, he's, he's saying there's a double kiss here. <laughs> this kid will find the right way to hit it. If you hit a little bit slow and you go through it with follow, you might be able to beat the kiss underneath it. Yeah, you can also uh, change the double kiss path by elevating the cue, which complicates accuracy. I think he's going to go with yeah, that. Yeah, you can do that. But, I mean, he's on the rubber. He's elevating. Tried oh. to go underneath it and hit it. Yeah, he didn't even come close to missing the double kiss there. He hit him too hard. Bludgeoned it. Yeah, bludgeoned it's a good way of saying it. That's using your English vernacular. <laughs> I was going across corner here, and that's pretty thin. Quite a nice shot. Nice well, he's shot. quite confident he won't scratch in the far corner pocket. A miss hit can produce a scratch for sure. But he figures that if he's not hitting it well enough to make he this should go two rails. Kiss. There's one. Yeah, right on the scratch, though. <laughs> huh. Oh, boy. That's two in a row you've called perfect. Way to go. And he's bit on both of them. <laughs> no, he knows better. He, he, he must have hit that, let's see, a little bit thick. He, I think he was planning to hit it a little bit thinner than that. Well, the fact of it is he bit on both of them. If you were betting, you won both of them. That's brutal, man. Once again, Jason's the favorite. Yeah, Jason needs one. Brumbeck needs two. You know, do you open these up here and play the eight? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, Jason's a shooter, and I mean, he's got a chance to get into the barn here. All right, let's get another look at that scratch. It was up the table, so that leads to the corner pocket pretty easy when you have to back cut it, and it's hard to influence it. What an accurate call that was. You saw that coming a mile and a half away in the dark. Hey, you would think that, you know, Brumbeck would see that. You know what I'm saying? 
But I mean, it never enters his mind. Just scratched again. How did that happen? I'm watching it and I can't see that. Well, eagle eye. Straight back nine ball. One ball. Game ball in front of Jason Shaw. And he made a good pass at it, hit both points, went across the table. By putting the cue ball clear back down the table, though, he keeps the pressure on John Brumbeck. He's got to try to battle for one ball. He's not stuck on the cushion totally. He's got about eight inches down here, so he can bridge just fine. Should be able to play safe here and get the cue ball up the other end of the table. That's all you got to do. Shaw will get the first offensive opportunity from this exchange by virtue of the fact he got the cue ball the other end of the table. Good speed there by Yeah, Brumbeck. speed's nice, man. It's like an inch off the cushion, right? I bet Shaw's is laying on the cushion. No, he ain't going to make it. It's about four inches. Well, Brumbach's going to get the first offensive shot here. I don't think he can afford to play safe any further. You know what's funny? You made the right call. I mean, what you said earlier about him getting the first shot, I agreed with. Just so happens it's coming out this way. He's going to make something happen here, too. This isn't obvious. Playing safe. Well, that's probably why. Because it wasn't obvious. Look at it, it's on the rubber too. Pretty nice shot, huh? Now Shaw doesn't have an offensive shot, so he's probably going to play another safety himself. Just did it. But look at this, man. He left it in the middle of the table. Rumbeck's got stuff to work with here, but nothing good. But he might have a couple of three railers. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Can't I don't see think he's going to play three railer go. here. <laughs> he's, he doesn't need to make a three railer. He needs to make another safety and get the cue ball on the back rail now. Well, you play safety. safety with two and three railers. That's the whole point. So you shoot the eight three rails and go with a cue ball, maybe. He just went across it. You know, that's easier. Beautiful shot. Look at okay. the speed. Look at the speed. Yeah, super pressure now on Jason Shaw to make another safety and return it. The guy's a master. Look at Shaw, man. Oh. He's not there. He's... Yeah, he's a little out there. See how much this little advantage Brumbeck can take advantage of. Brumbeck needs all three. Jason Shaw needs one. Johnny really can't shoot because he can't leave one. So he's got to play safe. And he's leaving one right there. You know, didn't yeah. get far enough back. Eagle Eye quickly jumps on the nine ball, straight back to his left. I think he'll play this top spin with some pretty good pace, bring the cue ball back down table. Now he's queuing up low. Came up short, too. Made it two rails, though, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, when you power up like that to draw it all the way back, the bell is going to go short. And just because you depress the rubber so much deeper. And it was probably to straighten up the cue ball. He hit a little bit fuller, too. Well, if you're throwing that punch, man, the feel's what it's all about. So I don't know how, you know, when you get into that zone, I don't really know what you feel. You just kind of live it. Mm-hmm. Nice That's try. a little wide. Would have would have led to another good bank. Instead, Jason Shaw comes. Good Looking speed, at, though. Look at the nine. Well, I mean, you can't predict that. Hit the point. But the point is that he wanted to possibly do some damage if he can make that shot that Jason left him now. Jason's the recipient of a great position here on the three to play it cross corner. Short, though. Too wow. Hard. Yeah. Don't have to go all the way down table. Look at this. this. He laid it on the rubber. God, this kid's marvelous. Well, now I see why everybody said what they said. 
before I came in there, I asked Billy what he thought. Billy told me. Then I asked Pat what he thought, and he told me. And I was like, okay. But now I see what they're talking about. He's seen a lot more Jason Shaw than I have, so. It's kids for real. Got to leave something here. Got to leave something here. Not much, because he could try to twirl the three in, but the cue ball would be very... Uh, a lot well, of speed. I don't think I'd run hot. the cue ball. Right. Might try something with the eight, like three rails with the eight. Go down the end rail and come back the other way. Yeah, he's playing the three rail on the eight. That works, too. It's a lot simpler. Yeah, there it is. A little Boy. long. Yeah. No kiss. Block pocket. Three rails. Three balls straight back, too. That'll hurt him. But Brumbeck needs all three, and the nine's tied up. Three balls straight back. So even if he makes this... Well, got to make it. Don't you think this is pressure, Mark? <laughs> well, he's still in the game. Shaw's had a couple chances, so he's feeling like he's got a chance to possibly steal one here. Hey, oh, wow. he that pretty. It's two cushions across the corner. Here, our next shot. Yes, sir. Just what he called. One right after another, too, you know. Brumpeck is effective on this type of a shot on a diamond. A lot of uh, people that don't regularly play bank pool have a lot of trouble well, with He's got this. a diamond in his basement. Look at that shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's got a diamond in his basement. I mean, shot. this guy's for real as it gets. I heard a story tonight that, you know, if I tell it, like he's never going to forgive me, but puts a heater under his table and puts a brand new cloth on the diamond a month before this tournament. The guy's for real, man. He's a master. And go rail first. Get some length here. Shaw's going to have one more crack at this game. Let's see how he does here. Gave him a lot to work with. A lot to work with. A whole lot to work with. 4-4 four, four is the score. Boy, oh boy. A whole lot to work with. He make this mark, what do you think? Well, he needs to if he's going to win. He did. No, he didn't. Wow. And left it in the pocket. Oh, my God. Yeah, Jace is very happy he didn't get the first crack one more time. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That is painful to look at. John's looking at it if he can just ease up there. Well, you know where the cue ball's going. You know what I'm saying? He's not trying to not make the nine and give him first crack. You could just super go up there and just lightly bump the nine and have it not fall in, but the risk is you leave a cross side. I hope that's a good call because I like this shot. No, I think he's going down table. He's, he says it's too risky. You know, when I go down table, I like to go rail first here. For, believe it or not, even though you get more control going ball first, the rail first, you pick up speed. Wow, he really left him something, didn't he? Are you kidding me? And he knew he did that. Poor boy. That's got enough energy, it's gone. Well, this is the in-game tactical side that John figures to have the advantage from experience. Well, I tell you, when I look at this, though, I don't know that I believe it. Well, uh, I know the truth of it. I hear you. And and that's where his decision making. I don't think this necessarily banks or anything. I'm just saying he's going to be comfortable playing here. Well, it's all pretty obvious stuff. Look at how good he hit that. 
just laid into it. Jason went just oh, he took a foul. Yes, it is. <laughs> that was not what Jason Shaw wanted to do. That, that was execute. absolutely a foul. Yeah. So and look at what it left. There was really no reason to make that mistake, except pressure. Well, it was just casual. I mean, he didn't have a good pre-shot routine. He just kind of went up there and bent over and, and miscued. But uh, he shot it into the facing. He did what Brumbeck doesn't do. He didn't apply his good pre-shot routine. He was just a little bit haphazard, assuming that it was going to be easy. And that's if if there was something you know to knock about Jason Shaw is that sometimes that overwhelming firepower leads to carelessness. Here's the question: Does he get smacked for it right here? Look at this. Keep going, man. Turn, turn, turn. Not enough. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Uh-huh. And it's a tough spot because Brumback only needs one. Boy, did he hit that good. You can say that to a bank that misses. It's amazing. I don't see how anybody could watch this game and see a shot like that and not see the beauty in this sport. This is incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. How about this? He went in the pit. <laughs> well, man, this ain't the end of the world. Stand up and claim your prize, dude. Pocket the ball and come back up table. Leave those balls together. No, no. He, the last thing Brombeck wants to do is touch the nine. No, he just play the seven cross corner. Or he can play safe. But, uh, I like seven cross corner. Definitely not move the nine. That's that's Jason Shaw's business there. John, <laughs> That's a good way of putting it, too, isn't it? That's Jason Shaw's business. Absolutely right. That's a crazy thing to say, but it's true. Never do work for others that you don't want done on the pool table. That's a good shot. Make it. Come on. That's a good shot. He was he poked a pedestal when he walked by. Straight back five ball. What that what was that all about? That is what it was all about. I don't know if there's a three railer there. I don't know what he's got. Yeah, he's, well, he's going calm. for it anyway. I don't blame him. Close. Long. Yep. Score one for Mr. Shaw. Well, Brumbeck side has chances. Here's another one, right? He's calling it straight back. That means he's going to go, I think, soft speed. Either that or super velocity, so it goes back, back, back. So it ends up, the well, bottom line is he wants the seven on the same end of the table as the nine ball. You want to go um, cue ball three rails here, right? No, no, no. No, he's not running the cue ball. He's dragging the cue ball over here. Yeah, and go three rails with the cue ball. One, two, three. There's one. Oh, he just reversed. So he went the soft speed way. That was a good shot. I just think the thing's out of control now. You know, it's whoever gets the next shot. And Shaw needs two, right? Yep. This is a real <laughs> shootout. Yeah, I don't think... No, I don't think that's the right shot. Too remote. He needs two balls. This is the time to get the nine in play. Yeah. Got pretty good, Even though. if you make it, you still got to get the nine in play. He is pretty good, though. It's, again, what do you do from here? You know where I live in the south, they let you go three rails and hit this ball and knock it in, and that counts as a bank. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But they do play bank. How about that? What a joyous shot that was. Look at that in the monitor. 
Oh my goodness. They're frozen in the pocket. What a great shot we got. No, oh, I see. They want to make sure that the knife's not touching the rail. If it is, Jason can just rub it and not have to go to a rail, which he'd much prefer. This level of play blows me away, man. Legal shot? Yeah, it wasn't. They declared it wasn't frozen. That's why he wanted to do that so he wouldn't have to go to a rail. Leave that nine right there. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. What do you do here? Uh, I think Rumbeck can go rail first on the seven and just land right on top of it just lightly. I think he can go rail first on the nine and not pocket it as well because I don't think he's, he's going to pocket. I think he yep. did just what you said. Started to say, I think, you know, coming around it there was okay, but. Yeah, Jason, that, that ball there, you cannot be one bit careless about Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. But see, uh, he's really no better off, and he was going to have to get that nine ball in play, and now the other one's tied up. So I think rather than that two-railer that he tried, I think he really should have put the nine in play and give himself a chance to win earlier. But that being critical, he hasn't played much bank pool. So. He's got a real English style to him, though. I like the way he uses the rails. The European Sea Bank's different than the Kentucky Boy Sea Banks. And, you know, Chicago and Ohio, kind of the same kind of vibe, or it used to be. There's a feel to all that, watching the ball move. <laughs> I think the Kentucky guys like Brumbeck are a legend. I mean, the guy's incredible the way he moves the ball. I think this should be straight back with draw and try to attack the seven ball and put it in play. But now he's going to go one for straight one. Straight back Good for shot. done. Good shot. Both gentlemen playing for one. Yeah, he plays safe, right? He's going to pocket it, yeah. Put John Brum back to the test here. Game ball. Look at the cue ball, by the way, when you say that. Look at the thing. It's laying on the rubber down here. Now we're going to have a short intermission here. Player timeout. Okay, everybody, we're back. And I don't know if we can uh, get the overhead, but i got a couple things I wouldn't mind portraying. I think he's going to pass the cue ball in front of this, banking the seven ball this way so they can leave the cue ball down here. But that makes it a difficult hit. Oh, he's jacked up. He's powering this ball. That was a super tough shot. He's trying to make it. He's scary, class. man. Yeah, double kiss. Double kissed it. And look at the pocket. Hello. And look at what we're going to leave. Even better. Well, Jason got a nice cross corner now. He'll punish him with this. He threw everything in the air with that shot right there. Should have played safe, maybe, huh? Look at this. The trickled in. It's no. right in. Oh, man. Good move on Johnny's part. Played a nice safe there. Left the cue ball down there on near the end rail. Maybe a quarter of an inch to the rubber. This shot's not easy either, you know. But it's a good shot, relatively. So, you know, when I say it's not easy... That doesn't necessarily make it a bad shot. Well, it's the same shot Brumbach just had. No, this is a little better. Better angle. Coming across the ball, maybe. He tried to hold it. He got it just past the side pocket. Look at this going to go on the side. How you like this? Well, Brumbach's got a shot here, huh? Cross, Cross corner. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, I Cross guess. corner for sure. He just got to run the cue ball, but he's on the rail, so... Speeds everything. Got to roll across the face of this ball. Just enough to get home. Oh, he hit it hard. He's going to bounce the end rail pretty hard. You're going to leave a straight back. Yeah, this is the shot Jason Shaw needs to make. He'll make it. 
that bell. This is a hard shot now. This is the one he needs to I make. Like this he shot. May make I it, like this shot, man. This is a good shot. Bumbeck's given up a lot, man, oh, for yeah. the opportunities he's taken. He's given up quite a lot. See ya. And he picked up a big win there. A Puts big himself win. on the hill to win this first set. Now, tell me something. Mm -hmm. Does that feel like a punch? I mean, he <laughs> just went through punch in the air. I mean, emotionally, that's like getting slapped in the face, isn't it? Come on. And Jason deserves every bit of that. That was a great shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he was the favorite to make it. He had to shoot it. Not at all. He could make it. It's still a statement. Prumbeck's got a stomach at all. Dry break. Made, uh, no, he made a ball. Yeah, he did. He made a wing ball. Four ball or five ball. Five ball. The five. Here's a question. What's he going to look at now? Come across the nine, play across corner. Can't come back that way because you're coming into the balls. So follow the nine. <clears throat> Playing on the one. Yeah, the one ball straight back. Yeah, one ball. Came close to. Well, that was a nice shot. Almost got the key ball all the way down the other end, which is where it needed to be. I was going to just say, you know, up here where all the balls are. Even though I was totally looking at the wrong shot for his taste. Boy, this is something right here, man. Brumbeck's got to play safe here, doesn't he? Cross side, okay. That means the one ball's not on him. Cross side with a nine. Short. Eight balls in the way a little bit. The Very nice. nice. Yeah. Spot shot cross corner. Straight in. That's a good one. No kidding. That will definitely be a go. See you later. Bye, five. This gets tougher. I think he's playing the one cross corner. No, he's going to examine down table. See what he's got. Straight back on the seven. He's very close to that. Good angle, too. Turn that. It's going to come up short, I think. Maybe not. Missed the one and still came up short. Wow, there was all kinds of room there. That was a heck of a try, but he had plenty of room to make it. Didn't even look that way. He took one look and shot that, too. Boy, the kid's unbelievable. Just to see that. Mm, How about pretty that? Shot. They're raining in death from above. The long cross corner. Well, there's such an elegance to that, isn't there? Yeah, oh yeah, very pretty shot. Makes that noise. Banks unlike anything else when that ball goes in the pocket like that. That was a close hit. It's hard to see that not go. And look what he left. It's an eight ball stopping. Yeah, how about this? How about that? One ball straight back. One ball straight back. Don't even need to worry about anything else. Rumbeck's in trouble here. That sounds ridiculous. But it could happen. Well. Man, oh man. Gotta give him the table back. That six eight's a lot worse than it looked to me at first. I'm try to stiffen this up. Left English. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wide. He avoided the double kiss. Well, what did that accomplish? But, you know, he got through the inning good. Rumbeck's got a straight back here on the seven. I like this. Seven ball. 
He's got a couple ways to hit it. If he wants to put a little pace on, it's fine. And he probably will know in his style. He'll probably hit this with a little pace, aim it right for the hole, pull the cue ball down to the end rail. Hit it with pace, but didn't move the ball at all. Boy, he landed right on top of the eight and the six. That's funny. The one set of balls that really mess up the whole deal. Shaw's hit the straight back real well. Didn't get it, but hit it really well. Very nice effort. Some clutter down here in the corner pocket. John's looking at the eight and nine. What can he do with that? What do you like? <laughs> well, he's calling. He's calling the eight in the corner, but is that multiple rails? Or maybe it's the nine. It's some kind oh, of he's vision. playing the nine cross corner. Okay, he's going to roll and get the cue ball way back down here. Primarily a defensive shot. Yeah, the cue ball was the big part. He's got good speed, man. The ball's moving real good. So I was going to hit three rails again. How about this? And it's got to come up just one rail, but it, I don't think there's any prayer of this. But it went into the cluster. This is getting uglier and uglier. Now, this bores you probably, right? Because, I mean, this is ugliness. No, this is the type of game that, you know, favors John Brumbeck. Do you think we'll ever see a point where uh, somebody will just, you know, take one ball and blast into the others with it? No. Not in like a million years, right? I don't think they would. Uh, we're getting two railer on the seven here called. Seven ball twice. But Shaw's temperament is why I asked that question. And it's just the opposite. Look at that. That's I mean, he shot. lays on the ball. Guy... Guy plays beautiful. I mean, that's all there is to it. Back on the seven. One railer on the seven for John ba Brumbeck. <laughs> Nicely struck. Man, A little that's bit pretty long. shot. Pretty shot. Turned right into the tape. That was nice. And position. Turned right into the pocket. That was really cool. Safety here? No. Cross corner. Four ball cross corner. Four ball. <clears throat> yeah, this will be pretty. Frozen nature of the ball and all. I love the way the cue ball squirts out of this. He hit this so well. That really is like a punch. You know, using that speed to curb the spin like that. So even though you're coming across it, you still got a chance of making it without double kissing it. It's amazing. Double kiss. Here's the difference. Jason, on iffy shots, uses a very poor and random general pre-shot routine. John Brumbeck, on every shot, uses a very structured pre-shot routine. And then when you look at who's the most consistent on the uh, tactical side of the game, it's John Brumbeck because he doesn't allow that little miscue or mishap to occur. Or when Jason doesn't sees, see something that's uh, offensive and he's just a little bit more general or sloppy, he doesn't really respect the shot. No, and it's not much of a difference at all. For a kid that's younger, by like, I don't know, at least 10 or 12 years, Jason really gets it, man. This kid's going to be... Yeah, he's 27. Brumbeck's he's in his 50s. Yeah. So even more than that, you're right. Hit a little short. 
John Brumbeck was a top bank pool player when Jason was born. This might be a two railer cross side. No, one yeah. railer. This sounds crazy as a loon to say, but I gotta say it about John. He's a Kentucky boy. I mean, Clyde Childress had that in him too. Shannon Dalton's definitely got it in him in some ways. But um, Brumbeck is totally blue. Cross side. Cross side. Jason, realizing he can make the two here, calls the crow two ball cross side. The guy that I learned to build cues from in Cincinnati, Sherm Adamson. Um, Brumbeck used to use one of his cues, so I see Brumbeck around all the time. And I've talked to Johnny a bunch over the years. He's a fierce competitor. I mean, he's he's just fierce. That's the simplest way to say it. And this kind of game like this exemplifies it. Just totally exemplifies that ferocity. Rumbeck kind of in a weird way has control, even though it's going the way it seems like it feels like the direction of it is. And I say that that hesitantly because... This thing's all tactical. It's just where you want to leave the cue ball and where you want to leave the object ball. A lot of thought goes into this. He's going to try to put the cue, or the, yeah, I think he's trying to put the cue ball right back on top of the six. That elevation. And the difficulty factor, and that's what, you know? Oh, yeah. You know, Guy from Cincinnati, Ohio, said this years ago. Whatever simplest is best. He was talking about one pocket, but you know what? I think that's true all the time. Whatever simplest is best. Don't make it complex. Nice block there. Terrific shot. Shaw has the two cross corner if he wants it. That's a relatively free. He sees it. Just short of the side pocket here, and then it's all about speed. He is a little bit too hard. Shorten it up quite a little bit, but very safe. Good play there. Both players need three balls. And balls are getting clustered. You really don't want to break that up at this point. Pocket of the eight. Johnny Brumbeck. Jason Shaw's got a shot now. I don't know what I think about all this. I mean, do you shoot here? Or do you just play safe? Shoot the eight over into the corner on top of the two and the three? Come back up table. What do you think? No, you got to be careful. That six, you can bank it across side if, he, if it falls funny. So you got to be careful yeah. about that. That's a long way to go. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. It's a great assessment. <laughs> Playing at cross corner, no, same thing. So he bunts the balls. That ain't such a bad thing. Except now it looks like he might have a good look. Yeah, bro, makes me use of the shot here. Yeah, well, that's fine too. He's looking at the two and the eight ball looks real good. It's the eight ball, and that's a good choice. I like this shot. Just missed it. And it went. How do you like that? That was a great shot. Yeah, very nice. I'm going to play the four ball cross corner. I like cross corner real good here. That's a pretty shot. Not an easy shot. No. But tell me this. Wouldn't you rather be shooting right now than not? Well, I think he's going to bring the cue ball back down by the two. Oh, I no, did. He good. went all out. I was surprised by that. Yeah, that wasn't very bright, was it? Leaves Jason his favorite kind of shot. Cross corner, I mean cross side, and, you know, he's just basically punching the ball there. Yeah, that was not bright. Man, that's like egging him on. See you later, bye, huh? 
No? And it spots? The gods are smiling on you, John Brownback. You're getting some chances. Cross corner four. Here's the difference. This is very similar to the angle that he scratched on there, Larry, but now he can use a little bit of low. So the scratch yeah, middle, will not even bottom of the end rail. Scratch will not even be remotely in play. The middle of the bottom rail. That's what I wanted to say. And he's got it. Came down a little longer than that. Drained it in the middle of the pocket. You got a nice straight back. Nice straight back. This is game ball here for John Brumbeck. Exactly what. Locks in on it. Here it comes. There it is. And we're all tied up at two games apiece. From back and Shaw. Now, Mark, I got to ask you. Did you notice as that ball went in, how it touched the long side rail, the end rail, and then just went right in the pocket? Yes. What do you make of that? Because of the spin on the ball that's doing that. And Johnny has a video where he talks about those very things. You know, holding the ball and the spin on the ball and how that affects the angle and how if it glances the rail, the ball will still go in. That was one of those examples. That really kind of blows me away because he cinched that ball more or less totally. That's a great shot. How do you like Jason Shaw now? You know? Yeah. I mean, this is a real shootout. And wisdom is being played against you, too. This is a kind of a classic match, really, you know? And I'm not sure youth didn't get in the best of wisdom, by the way, you know? He jump. can pick this up and be over in a second. He yeah. shoots so straight. Brumback would like to be effective here from the break. Jump on top here with some offense. Park the cue ball just so pretty. Yeah, the bad news is. Yes. Cross well, side seven. Yeah, seven ball looks good. The eight ball's a disappointment. Seven ball, cross side. You know, seven ball's a shot. Come around. Get on the five. I like that next. You know, um, the one ball is going to have some more opportunities. Cross corner at that point. If you can make the five possible. There are a few things. See if you can make this. Nicely done. Well, that was, too. Got the five ball. Stretched the cue ball out past the side pocket. Now. Four ball. Yeah, now the four. Side. Off angle, cross side. I'm just going to run the cue ball a little bit here. We'll have the five next, probably. Came above it. So now it's the one. No, I think he's hoping. Eight ball, to, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping to get that. Eight ball across the corner. I'm blind to something so obvious, man, you know? <laughs> man, playing position here is no joy. You know what I mean? This is just get number three in, so it's, there's no worry about position. Whatever you got to do to make the eight. Oh, pretty there shot. There it is. Pretty shot. Yeah, now he can do whatever he wants. He can play the one straight back. He can play the one three rails around. Mindful that a ball will spot up when he's done. Straight back's what he called. You hit it right on the head when you called the first one. Straight back looked the best to me, too. There it is. Ooh. Man, that's like a knife going into your flesh. That was a great effort, though. Well, look at what he left. 
Well, I mean, he yeah, had the room Cross in the pocket side, to do man. It. I understand that. That's bank pool right there. Sometimes That's you have bank to pool. give a little to get something. If it rims the pocket there, you'll have to take your lumps when it goes this way. Well, what if you say it like this? What if you wasn't planning on missing? That's to give a little to get something. That's long. And Brumbeck needs two for the title. Oh, boy. What do you like, Mark? Come on. One ball cross side. Yeah, yeah that looks good. Got to run the cue ball a little bit. Come on back down. Get that five ball next. No, he's, no he can play the three straight back. I don't think he's going to try to run. He's going all out to get on the hill here. Well, straight back's fine on the three. Yeah, right. He's... He doesn't need to try to... Well, he just doesn't want to risk missing trying to influence <laughs> the cue ball here. It's all out to make this one ball. That's the one. Okay. That's the one. Absolutely. That is the one. Yeah. Straight back on the three, he's called. For all the cheese, this is the one. Can you hold it? Yeah, this is the title ball right here. Jason Shaw needs everything, but they're pretty available. He gets a shot here, he'd be able to go. Oh, Double he's gonna get a shot. That's all Jason Shaw could hope for. Well, what he can hope for is a five ball. He's got that, the two ball next, two or the three. This is as good as it's going to be for Jason Shaw, and he's got to make uh, John Brumbeck pay from here. I don't I don't think there's any doubt oh. that that's true, what you said. Not an easy shot. Did not mean to infer that he had it. I'm just saying that he really had a great chance to possibly get into the scoring. Well, good assessment of what was at stake, too. I agree with you 100%. He had to go for it. That's his style. It's what brought him to the dance. Jason Shaw pretty much is what you see is what you get. Rumbeck's the one that's reaching back and finding a little something extra. Wouldn't you agree? Well, uh, I mean, Jason hadn't had many shots this rack. This is uh, two ball for the title. He hit it good. That'll be it. <laughs> Brumbeck. Go ahead and snaps it off. Nice match there, Scott Smith. Congratulates both players. Uh, anything in summation there, Billy, you'd like to add? Well, Mark, it is an absolute joy to be in this booth with you tonight. I love nothing more than to be here when the bank finals are going on. And I got to say, my friend John Brombeck played as well as any living human can play, and especially under the circumstances of being under the heat and the fire of a young gun who is right on top of everything, the man, Jason Shaw. That was a great spectacle tonight, and I truly enjoyed it. Thank you for letting me be here with you. And thank you, Billy. This has been an AccuStats video presentation, the worldwide leader in billiard programming. On behalf of all of us here, so long for just a while.